Hey everyone, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel Mad Crafty. It's finally spring! Happy spring! I have a new spring backdrop. Today I'm going to show you how to make my version of boho chic chandeliers. Everything you need will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. To start this project you're going to need two embroidery hoops. I have one that's 9 inches and one that's 12 inches. We want to remove the inner hoop, so all you have to do is give it a little nudge and it'll come out easily. Next, I'm using some acrylic paint to paint both my hoops. Once they're dry, you're going to get out your embroidery thread and start to make the handle for the top. I am combining six different colors to create my rope. You want to cut five 20 inch pieces of these. If you want your handle to be longer, it could be as long as you want. You can make them 30 inches, 40 inches, whatever you want to do. Now I'm using these wood beads I got at the dollar store, but you can use any beads you like. Now I'm tying a simple knot at one end. Just make sure that your knot is not all the way at the end, you want a few inches to spare. Now I'm using this floral wire to get the beads on easily. Snip off a piece. So now all I'm doing is putting the thread over the wire, folding it in half, and then you want to pick it up and twist it around to make sure it's secure. Bring that thread around to the other side and then your beads will string very easily. I used the beads and made a pattern for mine, but if you wanted to braid the rope or use different beads or put pom-poms, you can kind of do whatever you want. To take the wire out, all you do is simply slide it out. Now you want to attach all five of these to your hoop in an even distance apart. I used double knots to attach mine. Always make sure you're happy with it before you continue. Now I am gathering all five strands and making another simple knot at the top. Now I decided that I wanted one more giant wooden bead at the top, so I'm kind of twisting my embroidery thread around so that that big bead will slide in easily. Now I need to make the loop so that you can hang this on a hook. I kind of like the messy, boho chic-ish, so I'm not making a perfect loop. I'm kind of um, taking the strands and making tons of knots. I must have made, I don't know, maybe five or six knots. And then you can just cut the little strands off at the end. This kind of gives like a bohemian kind of flair. Now I'm using this red cotton thread to attach my pink hoop to my yellow hoop. The size of your thread all depends on how long you want your top hoop to be away from your bottom hoop, so decide that before you cut. I cut 12 inch strands for mine. You don't need to use this loop method that I'm doing. If you want to just tie two double knots, that's fine too. But here's where things get a little tricky. You want to make sure that the bottom hoop is evenly floating under the pink one, so you have to make sure that you are tying these knots in the right places. Now I'm going to show you how I attached my embroidery thread tassels. Very gently take the paper off of your embroidery thread and then start to pull it apart. You'll see that it's actually in one big circle and you want to maintain that circle. Next, you are going to bring it around back like I'm doing here. And then you just want to pull it over, take the back and slip it right through to the front. And then you want to pull gently but tightly so that it hangs and stays secure. You can also use regular yarn for this. You can use ribbon. This method goes for any kind of long stringy item. This is where you can be creative and have fun. Use leftover scraps. Look for fun stuff. Now if you're someone who does not like the messy look and you are a neat freak and you need it to be precise and clean and straight, you're going to want to use a different kind of stringer yarn. Embroidery thread doesn't really hang perfectly like some of those lamps that you see, but if you go to the craft store you can look around and find what you need. Also remember to be gentle and you want to kind of brush out the embroidery thread as you go so it doesn't look as clumpy. Now you see you have loops in the bottom and you want to cut those off. So all you have to do is take your fabric scissors or regular scissors if you don't have and kind of pinch the middle of your tassel and then make sure you're making an even cut on the bottom. 
Now you might want help for this next step, but you want to trim around your entire first top loop. You want to make sure that you have it hanging evenly and then you want to go around and snip or if you want them uneven, however you wish to cut them, this is the time to do it. Now go through your pom-poms. I like to use the jumbo sized ones and just get your hot glue gun out and glue them on wherever you wish. I glued mine at the same spots where I tied my rope. Here's a quick tip for those of you who don't like to use measuring tape or may not have any. You're gonna take your yarn and all you do is stretch it across your arms like this. One, and if you wanna go again, two, as many times as you want, three. Let's say we're gonna go four times, right? Then you take the end that you started with, attach it to the place you just stopped, snip it off, drop that piece, then hold your two ends, find the end again, fold it up, find the end again, fold it up, find the end again, and fold it up. This way, every time I make my strands, I know that I went across my whole length five times, so they're gonna be the same, right? So then, this is how I did my bottom ring. You're just gonna fold it one last time, and then you're just gonna simply attach it on the same way I attached the embroidery thread. Here's the final product. I used the arm measuring method for the bottom lower hoop for this. So I trimmed my bottom hoop yarn pretty short. I could have left it longer. It kind of doesn't matter. It's whatever you wanna do, but I liked it a little fringy. So I also made the second one. The inspiration behind this one comes from a movie that I was honored to get to dance in. It's called The Irishman on Netflix. We had custom made gorgeous dance costumes and this kind of was basically totally inspired by those as you can see. This one on the other hand just kind of screams Madison. <laughs> one more thing before you go. When it comes time for you to measure your hoops, like the little one on top of the big one, it can get really frustrating. I suggest having maybe one or two people holding it for you so you can measure it properly. I actually took both of these apart twice because the hoops were slanted. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more fun crafts like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.